Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my 100 baby challenge in The Sims 4. So today you guys we're starting off on the world map view because as you may or may not notice we are actually in a completely different neighborhood right now. So before we were located in Willow Creek yes 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 yeah I was questioning myself there but before we were actually in this one over here the 100 baby dream home and where did we go now we're actually living in a one-story house it's much larger we're on like a 64 by 64 lot now but i just felt like it was time to go ahead and you know move on up in the world i do actually think though that i got venus like a five hundred thousand dollar uh, what's it called? Loan. So she's in debt now, but we have like so much of that money left over that it really doesn't matter. Like we can just keep on making the payments. Like all is good in the hood. I just wanted to make sure that we could afford the house because we were kind of a little bit short on the funds. I spent a lot of time uh, during my time off just fixing up the house, getting it all ready to go. I'm hoping that it's 100% ready to start playing now. Also, I am fairly certain that we are in labor. We are indeed in labor. So there's also that. Maybe I accidentally played a little bit too much off camera, but I'll show you the house for now. So this is it in its entirety. It's so beautiful. Let me just kind of get out of that sun. Why is the sun still like making my whole entire house super dull and just strange looking? Anyway, <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. Oh my gosh, wow. Stacy, that was a little bit too high up. I will actually have to show you guys this house where I got it from. I believe I got it from The Sims Resource. I will try to link it down below if I remember. Note to self, open that in a tab so that you remember. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the house. We do have like this little sort of garage shed thing over here. We have this really cool sort of little pool set up out the back. Let me just come down here and I'll show you guys over here. The camera does not want to go any faster than this, even though I'm holding down shift. So just out over here, we have this beautiful little barbecue set up and like a nice outdoor dining sort of area. We've got some couches and all that kind of good fun stuff. And then of course we've got a pool with our stuff from the previous house sitting on top of it. And then out the back here, we do have like just a little bit of space you know there's some kid stuff some toddler stuff a tiny little toddler pool on this other side over here we've got like a little games table there and then a little painting sort of area set up for our beautiful venus in terms of the floor plan of the house oh yeah and of course we do have all of our dead relatives over here <laughs> I have to kind of fix it up, kind of make it look like proper graves. But yeah, so as I was saying, in terms of the floor plan, all right, here we go. I'm not gonna go through like a tab version of the floor plan because it's there's too much going on and it's gonna take way too much time and I just wanna get into the gameplay. So we'll just do it like this. So front door and then we've got this little opening here. There's a tiny little room here, I guess just like an office actually. I've kind of set it up as an office with a little fireplace. And then if we go over to the left side, there's actually the formal dining room. Just some junk around the place as well. You know, just kind of cluttered the place up a little bit. Oh, I didn't realize that I left those on the wall. If I leave them there in the end, I might move them over to the center, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. So then you come through and there's another second little hallway section, but we actually just have a gorgeous bookshelf in here, a little spot to sit and a mirror, I guess, if you wanted to check yourself out. <laughs> and then that's also where our robo vacuums are. And then when you come through here, that's where you've got our massive little living space and our enormous kitchen, because we always have so many Sims in the house, we need the space. Through here, we've got a nice little butler's pantry. So we've got a couple of dishwashers, a couple of microwaves. We've also got a couple of fridges in here. There's just like this little wine thing, another bin. I don't know. It was just some empty space. So I just had to try to fill it. And wait, have we missed anything down here? Okay, so back over this way. So if you go through the office way, or if you come around through this way, you end up in this excess little kitchen sort of situation. But that's cool. My OBS is overloading again, and I don't know why. My last episode was fine. The last video I recorded was fine, so whatever. I hope that things are not too chippy choppy for y'all. So in here, we actually have 
what was I calling it? This is like our bar section. And another bin, the little, what do you want to call this thing? The curfew board. I've changed some settings, so I guess we'll see how we go. Uh, back to the tour. So if we come through this little archway here, we have got the infant's room just here. So if you see me keep on dashing my eyes over this way, nope, we're still overloading. For crying out loud, I don't know what's wrong with my stupid computer. I guess I'm just gonna leave it as it is and we'll just see how we go. As I was saying, this is the little infant's room. So it's really cute, it's got kind of, wow words, it's got kind of like a rainbow, but also sort of teal aqua kind of vibes about it. And yeah, I really like it. And then if you actually come through this door here, this is actually Venus's bedroom. So we've got a couple of little baby bassinets there. I did remove the mod that makes the bassinet invisible so the babies will actually show up in those little bassinets now. We have this cute little, oh my gosh, <laughs> words, a couch over there for Venus and you know it's just kind of really nice, it's pink, there's some teal accents etc. We're kind of bringing the vibes of the old house into here but not overly. And then Venus has the most luxurious bathroom in the entire universe. If we come through here, as you can see, we have a little vanity here. We also have her sink just there. And then up on a little platform, we've got her bathtub, super fancy bathtub at that. And then there's also this little archway that comes into here. And we've got this absolutely enormous double shower. So then also if you just come off to the side here, she does have a toilet in there and there's also a basin in there. Technically we could put a basin down this end, but because I'm using this basin, I want it all to match. So we're just keeping it with that little, it's a custom content thing. If you would like the link, let me know and I will link you to where I got those little things from. And then of course we have a little closet there for some woo hooties. And then in here we have a spa again for some woo hooties. All right, so that's that side of the house. Now, if we come back out this way, we've done this whole entire section here. So coming now through, I guess we'll go through this little archway in here. To the left-hand side, we have one bedroom. I'm assuming this one might be like a teenager's bedroom because there are desks, you know, bunk beds, etc., And it's just kind of like nice and clean, not too much clutter, not too many toys, etc. And then they also have their very own bathroom in here. And then coming back out the hallway, we come all the way down here. And this is actually the other entrance to the house. And we have another little toilet in there. Lots of toilets because they're always needed. And then we also have in here a very big rumpus room. So there's a little TV section for the kids, you know, some clutter, some toys for kids and for toddlers and then that's where they're going to be doing their little projects for school and whatnot. We do have a little chemistry table and also one of these things over there for kids and one of these things for socializations etc. And then coming back down this way we have the laundry whether or not we'll use it is another story and then in there we have a little bit of a bigger just toilet room I guess what are they what do you what do you call them? a water closet and then in through here oh my gosh we have a chess table with no tables or with no chairs at the table that's absolutely my bad let me just fix that up as quickly as humanly possible yeah okay very weird that that happened but okay getting back on track so that is where our little chess table is and then if you go through that little archway again that is uh I mean, another dining room, it's not exactly our formal one. It's more sort of just like the main kind of dining section. I do need to put some decor around the place, but I just got so sick of uh, playing around in build mode, etc. that this is how it is for now. And then coming through this little archway here, which you can also get to through the kitchen from over here, we have another little toilet room or a water closet. And then we have these two bedrooms here. So this one in here is clearly very pastel purple, still with that sort of like, you know, we've got rainbows all over the place. This is the Over the Rainbow custom content set by Peacemaker I see on Tumblr. I, if I remember to, I'll link their Tumblr down below. And yeah, so it's really cute. You know, we've got this little like 
uh, cow that reminds me of Squishmallows. And then they have actually got their very own bathroom in here. So there is a full on tub and shower combo. We have a toilet and the whole entire basin. So that is them sorted, situated. And then in through this other bedroom is our toddler room. Yay! I don't know why we're yaying that, but you guys, I had so much fun with this one. The blue and orange and like wood tones is just absolutely my vibes. I totally love it. I mean, my favorite color is purple, so you would think that this room is my favorite, but this one was just so much fun because it's so different to what I normally do. So yeah, of course, obviously, as you can see, I mean, if you've got eyeballs and they work, <laughs> unlike mine, we have three toddler beds in here. If we need more, obviously we can just add more, but yeah, just a whole bunch of like decor and clutter and just fun, fun stuff. And then they've also got their own little bathroom in here, which you can see Venus is making use of right now by putting this child onto the floor. Oh my goodness gracious me. But uh, at the end of the day, I think that is the entire house. And then, oh yeah, of course, over here, we have this little space in here, which is Venus's little workshop area. We do have our basketball thing out here too. Oh, okay. So one more thing is technically down this little ladder over here. So we do have our basement back and I have put all of the baby daddies in order. So we have all of uh, Stella's babies over here and then all of Venus's baby daddies over there. And then if we do have another baby maker after Venus, we could just put them over there or I don't know, like it's a really big basement. We could probably change it in uh, at a later stage, but for now that's fine. As you can see, we do have 300,000 schmackaroonies, which I mean, do we really need? Not necessarily, but at the end of the day, it does help. It does help indeed. So let's just go ahead now and pop this back into play mode. Maybe she was giving the baby a bath. Was that the, was that the issue? I'm not hundred percent certain, but she is actually in labor. So, oh, which child are you holding? Probably Mercedes. Yeah. Okay. So maybe give Mercedes a bubble bath. She doesn't really need one actually. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. It's the other baby that needs one. I mean, realistically, she should actually just like stop doing what she's doing and take herself to the hospital. So please, my darling, go ahead and have the baby at the hospital and we're going to send her alone, of course. Okay, we actually have heaps of baby name suggestions from Emily Gibson. Thank you so much. I always appreciate all of your name suggestions. Okay, so oh, we've had a little girl. Now the father was Eugene Porter. So let me just remember to put Porter in there. And I'm going to assume that it's probably going to be twins, if not triplets. So eh, look, it's going to be fine. Okay, so girl names. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh. okay. The name Vivian is really speaking to me. So I'm going to go ahead and go Vivian, which means that any triplets or sorry, any twins or triplets of this baby will have to start with the letter V as well, just because that's how my brain works. So Vivian. Oh, and another girl. Okay. So once again, let me go Porter. And because we did Vivian, I guess we'll then do Valerie. That is giving me Vampire Diaries vibes and I love it. I don't think that's how Valerie in the show spells their name, but that's how we're going to spell this little baby's name. So Valerie Porter. Amazing. Oh, thank goodness gracious me, you guys. It was just the two babbly rubidi doobity doos. I was so stressed out. Oh, <laughs> okay, perfect. Also, what did that just say? Lana's responsibility. Oh, okay. For some reason I thought that was a toddler, but no, she's definitely a full grown human being. Also, my game is totally glitching out. There we go. Venus and Eugene had to win. Yay. So there's our little twinsies. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Now, let me just, oopsie doopsie. Do you have, you've got green eyes, but if your eyes stay green, I don't know, couldn't tell ya. I could not tell you. This is only my second set of babies that I've had since the infant update. So, yep. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, sweetie, you really need to get yourself to a toilet. You know, this one is the closest toilet, so I hope you're going to that one. And then afterwards, I'll get you to where is a shower? Actually, technically, maybe you should grab yourself some food and then we'll worry about your hygiene after that. I'm surprised the babies aren't crying. Usually, as soon as you get home from 
from from from from from the hospital the babies are starving marvin did somebody just get an a grade oh my goodness you got an a grade did you no you didn't well that's okay so lana lana banana can actually age up oh heck yes what a good start to this episode so far so let's go ahead and open you up we don't have any cakes okay cool beans let's uh piece of cake bakery let's go ahead and I don't know what that cake is, but let's buy this cake. It looks yum, scrum diddle yumptious. Go ahead and add some birthday candles. Oh, it's a matcha tea cake. Okay, I love that. So go add your birthday candles to my little honey bunny. Perfect, amazing, we love to see it. And then go ahead and blow your candles out, my little love. Oh, thank goodness, she didn't go outside to try to age up. So good, all right. Pick a number, one to 14. The answer is 10. Pick a number between one and two. It's one. One. Okie dokie. So Lana is going to be a serial romantic. She is erratic and also self-assured. We love that for you, sweetheart. Now go ahead and pop some more birthday candles back onto that cake. I don't really care that she is going to be older than her twin sister now because her twin sister's lagging behind and we really need a teenager at this point. So we're just going to leave it be. Oh my gosh, she's already in range to get a B grade as soon as she goes to school. That's so good. All right, honey buns, you're actually hungry. So if you could just grab yourself some leftovers, that would be fantastic. And then maybe we'll pop your earbuds on as well, just to kind of keep your fun up. And then also start working on your homework and maybe even come out here and uh, assist with this project just to kind of get your skills and such up. I don't care what's going on with the calendar right now. I'm just trying to focus on my children. Oh, would you look at that? Venus is actually taking herself now to go into one of her beautiful double showers. Let's see which one she actually chooses to use. Oh, okay. The one over on that side. Let's give her some privacy. Oh, we also need to get her another boyfriend so that we can get her pregnant again. You know, I feel like because we never used Shane, maybe we should just go ahead and use him because it's only going to be one baby anyway because we've only got that one slot in the house. Yeah, I think we're going to do that actually. I mean, why not? Shane will be right over. Again, I really dislike Shane, but like, look... He's there, so we may as well go ahead and uh, take his demon spawn. He is slowly but surely making his way downtown, walking fast, faces passing, he's homebound. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Anyway, that was really lame. Can you please actually. Oh wow, we haven't even ever spoken to him, but yet yeah, look at this. Oh wait, no, that was an accident. That's right. That was like a glitch from the last episode. That's my bad. What's wrong, my little honey bunny? You need help. Oh, my sweet angel. Let me actually get your older sister to come in here and take care of you. Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll have her come over here and give you a little bit of a bottle. Okay. That will really, really help you out a lot. Now you, my honey, go and speak to Shane. Chop, chop on your horse. Where are you? Oh, he's still outside. Okay, maybe we should invite him into the house. Oh, wow. We've really found out that he's a bro, hot-headed and mean. Well, how about we just go ahead and be romantic. We're just going to get him all flirty. We'll get him all loved up, you know. You know the drill. You know how it be. And then we'll just see what kind of romantic options we can do here. So physical intimacy. Maybe we can hold his hands. Hopefully he likes that. We do have to take a photo with him. Unfortunately, they took away the option of relationships going sky high when you take photos with somebody, but look, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. So could you please just come and take care of this child? I don't know what's wrong with her, but could you just like give her a feed or something? You know, hopefully she'll be all good in the hood. How we doing over here? How we doing? We need to get Venus into a flirty mood as well. So maybe we'll try to give him a bit of an embrace. All right, so let's just, yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. Should we make it brighter? Nah, no point. I think it's just fine the way it is. So let's just go ahead and take some photos. Hopefully one of them is really good quality. Now let's fix our frame rate. And hopefully, no, nah, not yet. That's okay, that's okay. Okay, we can first kiss, perfect. That's what I like to see. Now, can you also just uh, take care of the other kids while you're at it? Oh boy, look at this one, she's so stanky. 
I also still do not have the Growing Together expansion pack because I can't afford it. So if you guys are in a position to and would like to, I'd really love uh, if anybody could donate to my cause. I'm obviously totally joking, but hopefully, you know, hopefully soon enough I'll be able to afford it so that I can have like the changing table and stuff like that because I feel like that will be so much fun. <laughs> oh yes, let's get a first kiss pick in here too. May as well. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, he looks so shook. What is this woman doing kissing me? Okay, anyway, hopefully that actually helps us now to get our romance up a little bit more so that we could potentially try for a babbly rubidy doobity doo. Let me see. Physical into my say. Let's do another embrace. It hasn't actually registered our first kiss just yet. Why is somebody calling you? Go away. Uh, lol, genius. Cool. Cool beans. Thanks so much. Aldersis, maybe? I don't know. No, stop going to the children. The teenager's going to take care of them. I told you already. Oh, thanks so much, hun. Love that for you. Love that for us. This game is driving me absolutely nutty up the gosh darn wall. Okay, physical intimacy. Can we actually... Oh, I don't want to just woohoo. Why can't we try for a bubbly roo? We only have seven slots. I mean, we have seven slots. So why... Why can I only really try for a pregnancy in the bed? That's what I want to know. Why can't I do it in the sauna or in here? Why is it just woohoo? That drives me up the up the wazoo, honestly. Let's just try, uh, see if just a, a generic kind of woohoo will get us pregnant. If not, then I guess we're just going to have to go do the boring old generic OG woohooties in the bed. Like, that sounds like so much fun. Somebody has passed away? Who? Oh my gosh, they were probably calling because they were passing away. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh my golly gracious, she's not pregnant. This is ridiculous. Why can't we try for baby in other locations, like in the shower, for example? Why is there just no option? Venus, ignore the babies for now. Just go and try for a baby with Shane, please. What if I put the babies out here, okay, so that the teenager can take care of them? and then hopefully we will not get interrupted okay sweets you are giving the infant a bath oh my gosh this one's so stinky too ah venus we really need you to be taken care of so that we can have you help us take care of the infants wow he doesn't want to have a child so he doesn't want to try for a baby so we're just gonna have to try to woohoo over and over and over again until she gets brigante bro she can't even get pregnant because she's too sad oh wait no her floaty moods come back okay okay let's try that again please i'm just having her really quickly try to take care of these two because they're really frustrating me right now i wish that she would age up already but we've got to send her to school again oh my gosh it's 12 36 in the morning have you done your homework for one just like stop doing what you're doing go and pick a bed to sleep in oh my lanta this child also needs to uh go to the toilet and then go to bed wow 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 i don't know what we're supposed to do right now she doesn't even have enough to get a sleep replacement potion oh my gosh neither do you do you have any in your inventory shoot y'all we are struggling we are struggling hard right now shane went home uh this child did not feed the baby apparently she could care less if this child is fed please venus go and feed the stupid child she's also stinky even though we just gave her a bath i don't understand what is happening here she also has not gone in her nappy like she still needs to go i just don't understand venus where are you take care of this child i didn't realize that taking care of children was so hard go to sleep i don't care if you're hungry you've got to go to school really soon and i'm sending you whether or not you're tired so just do as you're told for once in your life please oh my god y'all she's actually feeding the child and then after that you know, you're gonna, you're gonna go and you're gonna change her nappy. Or what I'm gonna do is super efficient infant care because I don't actually know what she needs. This one's actually in bed and she's also hungry. You've got to be actually kidding me right now. Now who has passed away? Honestly, Jean Goth? No idea who that is. Honestly, no freaking idea. There's bins freaking everywhere in this house, and yet they're still putting the bottles and the nappies on the floor. We love to see that. Do we still have a maid? Why is it still, like, smoky steamy in there? What the heck? Weird. Go to sleep, baby. Why are you still stinking? I don't understand. I don't care. I honestly don't care. Go in there. 
Uh, go to the toilet. Did you get pregnant? Of course you didn't. Go to the toilet and I don't care if you're hungry. Honestly, just go and take yourself a little shower. We'll have to invite Shane back over soon. Hopefully we can get you pregnant again. All right, I reset the sauna and the steam went away. Okay, it's the morning. So I've got Lana going to feed the baby that is hungry. Yes, we know Meredith is hungry. Now, Venus, honestly, just like stop eating and yeah, go and take care of your little babies, please. Please, like it shouldn't be this hard to take care of some children. Oh, my lanta. Super efficient newborn care, please hurry up. This game is ridiculous. Why is the 100 baby challenge so much harder than what it honestly needs to be? Oh, that's really sweet. Sweet baby. I still don't know what I need to do with these infants in order to like age them up early. I'm at this stage, I'm just letting them live out their days and when it becomes their birthday, then they can just age up. Yes, yes, okay, so you're sleeping, you're doing okay. You're actually doing okay as well. All right, so that's fine. So you're gonna go to school. Hopefully you'll eat at school. I don't know about sleeping, but look, that's just, you know, it is what it is. You need to wake up my little honey buns. Venus, what are we doing here? Okay, no, we'll send you alone. Okay, are you going? Are you going? Go, leave. Hopefully they both eat at school as well. Okay, and since it's a sort of appropriate time of the morning now, we can actually go ahead and see we can invite uh, Shane back over. Where'd he go? There you are. Could you please come back over? I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue this challenge for for very much longer. If if the game is seriously this bugged out with the infants, I just I don't need the stress in my life right now. How are you going to sit there and tell me that bathing a child takes like four hours. I'm gonna start pulling my freaking hair out. I can't even, like, as soon as I get her into a flirty mood, he tries to leave again. Like, please, just come over here. Try for pregnancy. Please don't say no to us. Oh, I'm getting so annoyed. And now it's Vivian's birthday and Valerie's birthday. Explain to me how. Oh, I mean, they're trying for a baby, so hopefully they actually get pregnant this time. Lana got her grades up. Okay, that's fantastic. So she's now a B grade student. What about Lucy? Oh, Lucy, you got your A grade. Oh, that is so good, my honey bunny. Okay, now you can come home, open this up and uh, blow your candles out. Let me just double check. Yes, perfect. Okay, so you definitely got your grades up. Oh yeah, here we go. I just didn't see that one. And them two can honestly stay as little itty bitty babies they can like naturally age up into infants when the game decides that it's time because i just i don't have time for this right now my hair feels like it's a mess i am about to blow my lid pick a number one through 14. the answer is 13. pick a number one through three it's two two okay amazing so we've got lazy and we've got childish okie dokie there we go. I've forgotten your name. Lucy. There we go. Lucy. We love Lucy. I hope Lucy loves us and she's going to help us out with the babies because otherwise I don't know what the heck we are going to do. Okay, this one is Stank. Could you please change the dirty nappy with this one? What's wrong with you? You uh, do not have a dirty nappy, but maybe you're hungry. I guess we'll go and we'll feed the both of you and... Let's actually go check to see if Venus got pregante or not. Oh my god, okay, she got pregnant. So in that case, I'm gonna have her come over here and take a pregnancy test so then she knows that she's pregnant so we can have this baby faster. Why did you come into the toilet with us? Oh, he wants to be best friends. Sure, let's be best friends then, my little honey bunny. And she's about to pass out. But did she find out that she did she find out she's pregnant? Y'all. Okay, she didn't find out that she's pregnant, and we also don't have the option now <laughs> to, uh, to to try to check for pregnancy. So we love that. Oh boy, I don't know what to do. <laughs> what do you mean? This Sims household is too big, but she doesn't know that she's pregnant. Oh my goodness gracious me, I don't know how to fix this. Oh no, I guess we're just gonna have to like just wait, wait and see. You guys, my brain is just not working today. This is crazy. I think I might off camera after this just kind of try to at least play through until everybody's in bed and in a good sort of mood. 
episode so that hopefully next time I record things go a little bit more smoothly. I might still need to go through my uh, my mods folder, remove some stuff and just kind of play around with some things. But until then, I hope you guys are enjoying the series regardless and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I hope that you will consider doing so as well as clicking on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I do upload a brand new video. And of course you guys, if you enjoyed today's video in particular and you would like to show myself and or the channel some support, you can do so by either clicking on the like button and or by letting me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very, very much for watching today. And as always, you guys, until next time, bye-bye.